Legend of Total War here, and today we've got a Saving a Disaster Battle playing as the Blessed Dread uh, with Lockheed Felhart coming in as reinforcements. It looks like he was force marching to try to save Tor Saroi, which, um, not really a great idea, because, yeah, we got caught in force... Not caught in force march, but he got caught in force march because he can't retreat from the battle. And if we lose, he gets wiped out. And although it's just, like, basic troops coming at us as just spearmen and archers, we're pretty overwhelmed by numbers. The order resolve says we're going to get a decisive defeat. And it's not like our army is particularly amazing either. Now, I think one of the theories that he wanted to use with his army here was try to use it like the Nasty Skulkers for um, uh, the Greenskins, where you stalk, hide, hit and run sort of thing. Now, that works really well against Dwarfs. It's not great against High Elves, um, especially in the later stages of the campaign because they're very fast. But in the early stages of the campaign, you could probably make it work. The fact that these guys here stalk is actually quite useful. He's got some high-level heroes here. So Lockyer is on his dragon. This one here is on her uh, flying the Dark Pegasus. That's really good. This one here is flying and also has Hydra Blood. Really useful. Uh, these two will stalk. That one there doesn't stalk. And uh, let's just see what we can do here. We definitely want to not control Large Army because I don't want this unit here to come on the battlefield because it's going to give away our position. Uh, let's just jump in and see what we can do. So, first thing we want to do is take all the flying heroes as they come in and try to redirect the enemy army away from our army to begin with so that we can at least get organized. Uh, our reinforcements are going to come from over here, which is a terrible position to get organized from just because it's really cramped. And if you've got a bunch of missile units, they're just not going to fire. So, we don't want them to even know we're here, ideally. So, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to put these guys over here. Yep, just move them up that way. That way they can't see us to begin with. Okay, move up to... Up to there. Okay, then we got this one, this one, and this one. Get them over here. This one going to the forest there. Okay, these guys here, just tell them to stop as they come in. Just stay there. Just wait. Wait until everyone's in. Wait until there's room to move over, and then we'll see if we can do some hit and runs. But yeah, the guy basically said that, um, you know, if he lost this battle, it would cripple his campaign, and uh, his micro just couldn't handle it. I don't think this is a, a battle that requires a lot of micro. A bit of patience might be good. And I don't know if he tried to not control large armies. Maybe he wanted his artillery to show up at the start. So yeah, just tell him to stop. Okay, that looks like a full stack. And... Alright, cool. We're in the clear with that. Alright, so how much magic we got? 85. Not a lot. He would have had more if he had actually directly attacked this army. Because of uh, power reserves. And that only affects the army that gets attacked, or is the attacking. So having uh, heroes with power reserve in reinforcing armies doesn't actually do anything. Alright, good. Everything's hidden. We want to draw them away over here. Alright, we definitely need to waste the ammunition of archers, because it's really easy to do it. And it's really effective for getting rid of Bounce Power because um, they're going to outrange our Black Art Corsairs. So we've got 40 speed and their Spearmen of 35 speed, Archers have 35 speed. 38 speed, okay. So that means our guys can outrun them. Actually, no, they can't because they're on Force March. We actually can't outrun them. <laughs> if you weren't on Force March, maybe. Alright, so we want to use this guy here to do it because he's just got passive regen. He's got a potion of healing there that really should have gone over to Lockyer. So by doing this, because he's got a lot of armor as well, it's just not really effective for them. By doing this, it'll make it a lot easier for me to spell cast without worrying about getting shot. And yeah, he's, he's got a good amount of um, armor, good amount of uh, resistances there. Ward save, physical resistance, and missile resistance. I think it's 5 5 15, so that's 25% um, missile resistance, essentially. Actually, let's even try to get them to shoot their own troops. Which is always pretty funny. Oh shit, look at this. Let's get you over there. Cast uh, some spells. Kind of wasn't expecting them to blob up this early. Get going. 
Maybe I should have controlled large army and just let all of their forces come onto the battlefield just because a greater number of them will mean a bigger blob. Meaning uh, we'll get more damage per spell. Oh, I missed a bloody chance there. Alright, well, little still do a decent amount of damage. Cool. And one of the great things about this particular situation as well is that um, because it's on very hard battle difficulty, right? Yeah. Um, the extra firing rate allows us to actually waste their ammunition faster. Which is good. Okay, I'm going to do a Soul Stealer just because I want her to heal. It does a decent amount of damage as well. So yeah, we really want to focus on killing their spearmen because if we have to go into melee, they're the one, they're going to do more damage than the archers, obviously. Because once the archers have used up all their ammo, they're effectively useless. Now, at some point, we're going to have to duel Tyrion, and I think it, Lockyer Felhart's going to be the, be the one to do that. Now, on very hard battle difficulty, Lockyer Felhart's probably going to struggle in a duel against um against Tyrion, even though we're way higher level than him. He's only like rank eight. So, good number of kills so far. Fire Wizard would have been so much better. Like a burning head through here. Could use uh, Chill Wind. It's only four winds of magic as well. Yeah, why not? Let's do that. Yeah, good amount of damage. I don't think they got too many kills. But maybe the next one will. And every one of them that we kill is just less ammo that we have to dodge. So there's always this spell as well, but in situations where we've got plenty of time, I usually don't use it because it's just about getting Winds of Magic faster. You don't get more Winds of Magic by doing it because you have to spend it. It's like an arcane conduit they have to spend magic to get. So, yeah, we've used up a little bit less than half of our base wins so far. Good, that one's used up all of the ammo. And this guy here is in better shape than what we started off as, so that's good. Oh, we've also got a timer here. Now, it's really important that we don't run out the timer. Because if we get a draw here, we don't... Well, if the timer runs out, we get a draw. We don't win. And uh, it keeps the settlement under siege, which... Isn't what we want, we want to outright win. One thing I suppose is that um, Soul Stealer is okay against single entities. It's probably not going to work too well against Tyrion. But I think we did a Soul Stealer on um, Alistair. He's already lost quite a bit of health. But yeah, one of the another main reason for taking out their ranged units, apart from them just being easy to do so this way. Um, they're the only things that can hit our flying units. Saw a good opportunity, so I took it. Don't think it's a good idea we overcast. I usually don't overcast Vortex spells. So I think they're taking a little bit longer to use up their ammo because they're clumped up a bit. Some of the, the guys just aren't going to have a good angle. Alright, let's see. How much of our regen do we have left? Alright. About half. But she's already done a lot of damage, so that's good. But we haven't eliminated any units. Okay, one thing that we should do, I suppose, is when one unit leaves the battlefield, we should have Lockyer just beeline straight over to their reinforcements location. And maybe him and the, uh, the Master can take out Tyrion. If we take out Tyrion, we've got the speed superiority. Just used up 10 minutes. Like I said, I do not want to run out the timer here. We've got to get the actual win. Trying to get them to shoot their own troops a little bit. 
Alright, basically out of ammo there. Okay. Alright, let's bring Lockyer over here. We can do a dragon breath. Uh, yeah, that looks like a good opportunity for that. Because, yeah, four winds of magic, decent spell, and as opposed to nine winds of magic. Eh, I don't know. And now they basically can't do anything to us. No, I think I'll keep using Chillwind. It's just cheaper. And yeah, she's getting kills. So the bounce of power right now would definitely be in our favor. It's just that the uh, enemy reinforcements are much more numerous than ours. Okay, just wait for a good blob before we use the dragon breath. So they go out and then they come back in. But there was definitely good opportunities that were missed, for sure. I just don't usually prioritize the dragon breath that much. Okay. We can't sit around here for too long just doing nothing. Oh, now that they've used up all their ammo, they're going to play it differently, aren't they? Okay. Uh, taking out Alistair definitely wouldn't be a bad idea because these guys here, they don't have that much experience, so their leadership would be pretty bad if we uh, kill them. Okay. Try to get them to come further in. Yeah, I think I will try to just swoop at Alistair. Yeah, that's it. Come in. That's it. Come in. Oh, we do have a health potion for Lockyer, I guess. Good amount of damage done so far. That's it. Everybody crowd in here. Okay, let's get Lockyer out of there. While he's in a big fight with loads of infantry, he's not great at taking out single entities. So just wait until Alice is separate again. But we definitely got the better of him in that little scuffle. But yeah, I just need one of these units to leave the battlefield. Okay, there's one that's... I think they got terror routed. Just need someone to leave the battlefield so Tyrion can come in. Actually, that looks like a pretty good spot. No, 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 no. That looks like an okay spot for a breath attack. Yep, I'm happy with that. Okay, send him in as well. Yeah, he really should give the uh, health potion to Lock here. Great. All we did was turn him into a football, which didn't do any damage to him. But... We also didn't really take any damage, and it presents another opportunity to do this. Uh, that wasn't ideal, but we didn't take much damage either. Control keeps keep getting moved around all over the place. Yeah, so he didn't do any damage, he just kicks him around. Really annoying. Alright, winds of magic remaining is only at 10. So I'll wait till we got 30 wins before we cast any more spells. And this is like a really good opportunity for it. get a good angle with it. Actually, you know what? Let's aim for Alistair. Maybe it'll actually do some damage to him. While he's in amongst all of these troops. Yeah, it did a bit and got some other stuff in there as well. And then we could always swoop, but you know, we, we've only used up about a quarter of the time. More archers still to come as well, but I just need some of these guys to leave the battlefield so we can go after Tyrion.
So swooping is really effective if they can't fire back at you because they don't get a chance to attack and you just... You don't ever land. Well, if you get it done right. You gotta know the exact right moment to uh, make a move order. And that can be tricky. But yeah, swooping, if you manage to do it right, is a really good technique. For just getting free balance of power. So yeah, free kills. They just can't do anything about it. It's not really good to do this with giants, because they can actually uh, hit you back even if you don't land, because they're they're big. Can work with cavalry, like horse cavalry, but anything bigger than a horse, I probably wouldn't do this on. Right, I'm gonna try and go for Alistair again. He's pretty weak, and yeah. Wounding him will likely start a chain route here. Good, that was a good hit right there. Alright, cool. Come on, one more. There we go, we got him. Alright. Uh, reinforcements are coming in. Let's go after Tyrion. Let's go. So yeah, we don't want to wipe out any of these guys here just yet. Or else it's going to bring in more reinforcements. We want Tyrion to be alone. And I don't know which side he's coming from. So... Well, there he is. He's giving away his position. There he is. Alright, now should we debuff him? Well, I would if I could. I don't have any debuffs. They're just going to have to duel him. Yeah. Fair bit of fire resistance. Luckily, we don't have any fire attacks there. And both of them together should be able to beat Tyrion. Oh, yeah, he's also got the Heart of Avalon. But if we can get him to route, we can get him off the battlefield. Okay, I just need you to delay them. Yeah, he... Like I said, in a duel, Lockheed will lose to Tyrion. That's why we needed this guy here helping. It'd be good if he was... Okay. Yeah, it'd be good if he would actually attack this dude. Okay, that's it. Just escort him off the battlefield. Alright, now with that going on, let's bring in... Uh-oh. Oh, I must have just got terror routed. Uh, like I said, unless we absolutely needed to, there's a spell. I can still regenerate a little bit more wins. I'll have one base reserve left. That's actually a pretty good cast. He's broken. No, he's not broken. Did we break him? Fucking heart of Avalon. Okay, we can't be fighting him amongst all these other units. That's not going to work. Yeah, we just couldn't break him, even with uh, Alistair's death. Wasn't enough. Uh, that wizard over there is... A mild nuisance. We should probably take it out. Eager for blood. That's it. Push it away from the rest of the units. This will also lure Tyrion over here. Yeah, if it's just him by himself, we can still beat him. Only barely. He's just so strong on this difficulty, all those bloody melee cheats. We just can't bloody duel him. Tempted to use Soul Stealer, but if we do that, that's it for our spells. Okay. Can't be fighting him amongst all these melee infantry. Gotta get back. Come on, come on, come on. Get back, get back. Split up so he has to choose one of us to attack. Good. 
Alright. I do want to fight him. I just don't want to fight him among all these. More reinforcements are going to be coming in soon, which is going to give them more surface area. I really want to get rid of him before then. Alright, I've got this. Uh, I don't think I should use it against... Oh, you know what? I'm going <laughs> to... It's the only unit that's really giving us a hard time. Get rid of Tyrion. And it's probably going to miss. Yeah, he dodged it. Uh, at least he can't heal any further. Because they don't have any... Um... I don't know why I did that. Um, yeah, they don't have any life wizards. Actually, you know what? Actually, let's get these ones over here. Because Tyrion's quite badly damaged, we only need a little bit of damage on him, and it will um, give us the win. Alright, how about you guys come over here? That'll probably lure Tyrion over here right away. Oh, hang on, look, he's um, split himself up. Let's go. Just need to do a little bit more damage to him. Maybe it might even be a good idea to have the wizard. It's <laughs> a bad idea. Um, just get his attention a little bit. Okay, this is good. We're luring him away. That's what we want to see. Oh, assassins as well. Come bring him over here. Because we're almost at half time now. But yeah, once we take out Tyrion, the rest of this shouldn't be too difficult. What's his missile resistance? It's like 35%. Yeah, we're not going to get up to him in time. Yeah, go kill, go kill that one. But he's he's not going to get out of this. He's gone. Got him. Good. That really helps. All right, we still got more units to deal with. We're going to kill their hero here, uh, their other lord. So that's three for three. And right, I'll, leave, I'll just leave them there, so that they they bring a couple of units here every now and again. All right, one of their armies is on force march. I think it was the one commanded by by her, so she's dead. As long as we win, uh, these ones here leaving the battlefield. That's good, I guess. Now we don't we don't need to fight them anymore. Now we're just going to try to get the win. Let's get these guys over here. Uh, get them to start shooting at spearmen before the archers come in. Alright, what do we got here? More spearmen. Because, yeah, they'll be the first ones in. We'll know we're at the back end of the battle when all the archers are starting to come in. And hopefully we can just inflict the army losses on them. Let's do some swooping. Because I don't want Loki taking any more damage. I think he's done enough. Just keep them back here so when the archers do come in, we'll just like, just wait. Yeah, we'll just wait at the reinforcement spot so that as soon as they come in, we'll just go down and kill them. Because there's spearmen here, they, they shouldn't be able to catch up to our Black Ark Corsair Hambos. Um, hmm, this is interesting. Despite being on Force March, these ones here aren't completely tired yet. So yeah, they're running towards this position, which is a trap. Should have plenty of ammunition now. We've thinned them out by so much. Ah, uh, just with magic. Yeah, just with a couple of spells, we managed to get a thousand kills. Away. 
no more single entities to come in, so their ammo is definitely best used against single entities, but since there's no more, don't have to worry about that. That's it, they just, they can't catch us. And we've still got more reinforcements to come as well. But if all goes well, we might actually walk out of this with zero casualties, because I don't think we've taken any yet. Just taking a little bit of damage on them. Which they came in a little bit damaged as well. Locke is definitely in worse shape than what he started, but the other two are okay. About the same. Yeah, don't bother running down any any broken units. Just focus on routing the ones that are going to stay. Also, we don't want to route them all too quickly or else the reinforcements will come in a bit too fast. We just basically want the archers to come in one at a time and just keep getting killed really... Yeah, just one at a time. Because if too many archers come in here, then they'll sp split up and then bloody shoot the crap out of us, which isn't what we want. We just want them to come in, route, come in, route, over and over again. And I don't think we need to worry too much about... Oh, but what about next turn? You have to fight them next turn if you don't run them down. Yeah, it's, individually these armies are no threat anymore. And I think he's got Lightning Strike on, um, on Lock here. I mean, I'm just taking a guess, but we'll see. So, preserving two of the armies so they can fight more battles just mean more experience. I mean, this army here, that one's dead. That's a, that's a goner. It's got to keep checking over here just because I won't see them too easily when they come in. going on. Okay. I was just wondering if army losses was about to trigger. I don't think the army losses will trigger until the archers have come in. At least a few of them. Because we've still we've still got a lot of our balance of power here. Which is why it's so important to use the magic. Because it's uh, it's not ranked very highly in terms of how much power it's worth. And how much damage it can do is, you know, immense. Still just spearmen coming in. Yeah, we were very badly outnumbered in this battle. That's why it said decisive defeat. Didn't help as well that it was on force march. But yeah, I'm not, not chasing after them. Even though they're routing, it would be good to get those free kills. Um, you just Sometimes units get stuck, and these are no threat to us. And I just want to slow down the rate at which we kill them so their reinforcements don't come in too quick. Oh, someone's getting shot. So we want to make sure we route them off the battlefield, so if we're coming at them from this direction here, that way, hopefully they'll route that way. If that makes sense. Okay, you need to slow down the rate of uh, killing them now because uh, we've got archers coming in. We want to slow that down. Yep, it ran off the battlefield. That's exactly what we want to see. And then the next one comes in, and we just land on them before they get a chance to shoot. And if we do this, they just lose so much balance of power there because the, the archers are worth so much more than the spearmen. And it's all for nothing. See, this is what... This is what they're going to do, right? But if they were all doing it all at once, if they came in all at once, I wouldn't be able to chase them all. 
Okay, I, I'm gonna need Loki to stay here. Because there's gonna be more coming. And these two can handle this. Managed to get away from the edge there. That's what we wanted to try to avoid, but just made a beeline sh away from us right away. Good, another unit essentially gone there. Alright, maybe I'll get this one here to run it down. Oh, there it is. This one here's taking a bit of damage. A Doombolt would get rid of it, but I don't want to waste 11 wins of magic. Oh no, am I going to take a casualty? I might. I was a little bit slow on the run away there. I think I took a casualty. Oh, you might actually survive. Lucky bastard. Watch out for friendly fire as well. Still not at the army losses yet. Oh shit, he came back. Oh no, I'm gonna take a casualty. I thought I could do this with zero deaths. No, I didn't. Okay, cool. Lucky. How are you getting shot? What's going on here? Oh, yeah, there's multiple over there. Lucky is, Lucky is having a hard time holding the back um, by himself. Yeah, there's too many over here at the moment. I gotta keep more pinned down. And now we're starting to run out of ammo. Maybe I'm gonna just have to go into melee. So zero deaths just not gonna be possible here. Okay, it's got a couple of them off the battlefield, which is good. Damn it! Casualties. Just leave them there. That's it. Just keep getting them off the battlefield. Might be a good idea to go into melee with this guy here before other reinforcements show up. Because we can break him. Alright, let's move these guys up a little bit. Alright, now there's archers all over the place. Okay, I gotta get out of here or else we're just gonna get shot. Yeah, there's still just lots of units on the battlefield. They just outnumbered him by so much here. Still got more reserves. The army losses honestly shouldn't be too far off. If we're gonna lose anyone, we should lose the garrison units. Good, another one off the battlefield. Oh, 
All right, I need this guy now to. What did what did happen? I need him to. Um, oh, there we go. I was about to say. There's the uh, army losses. Move on. Don't worry too much about running them down. We're too tired for it. Just not really going to do any effective damage. Just finish shooting up on this one. So yeah, we took about. I think we actually took just one casualty. No, I took um, I took three. Okay. But yeah, not amazing units. Just had to take our time and dismantle them. Now, the thing is, we might have been able to get the army losses a little bit sooner if I hadn't used up all my ammo on the um, on the dark shards. But it's fine. All right, I don't think this will replenish Lockyer's main force. Oh, look. Her army was the big one. That one was on Force March. I require slaves. I'm just not entirely sure if uh, Blocky is going to get any of that recovery. Oh, he did. He did. Okay, that's good. So, sort of go up briefly. So we'll have a little bit of a look at the situation and then hand it back. You are about to experience the host. No. Uh, it's not ideal, but I don't think that's going to be difficult to to get rid of. You got. Full stack in there, plus... That might be an Admiral, but that might be why they actually made the attack. You probably could just sally out against that. Because, yeah, they don't detect your, uh, your garrisoned Admirals. Which is pretty funny. So, yeah, you can just leave um, Black Arcs in all the ports, and enemies will attack them. Not realizing what's actually there waiting for them. Certainly not. Yeah. So if we sell it out here, it is likely that it would just push them out of the way. Futile. Oh, it didn't. Okay. Okay, you could just auto that and... And that banner made a bit of a difference. If you're lightning strike, you actually lose. Because if you auto resolve it, you wipe them out. And with the uh, Black Ark Corsa Hambos, with the uh, uh, Black Arcs, it's likely that you can recruit them at that level anyway. And you'll definitely get the money back. Oh, that made a big difference. Just seeing if the allocation of these banners here might be able to... Get us a better result, but yeah, it seems to be like this one on him, and then that down there maybe. Might actually be better on a unit with uh, with more health. All right, four units get wiped out. Just take it out. Yeah, that because you really want to make sure it gets wiped out because you can't pursue it with um with them. Got some rebels over here, but they don't seem like they're that tough. And yeah, yeah, you can recruit them straight away back at uh, at full full experience. So nothing really lost there. And then over here, that's looking good. All right, so let's have a look at the campaign. You've got how many settlements? Ten fifty four, twelve settlements. Bit, bit of a slow start. Um, I'm seeing so many people with Lockyer go straight to Ulthwa now, which um, I think it, I think is a great strategy. Really works quite well. And everything else looks fine. Ulthwan is completely falling to pieces. So that's good. Alright, no worries then. And you've, you've still just got one army. Uh, let's have a look at the skill allocation of no. Lockyer, actually. Yeah, he's got lightning strike. Cool. Yeah, so... You'll have no problem basically finishing them off. Etain is... They're done for. They sent everything they had at you. And that was it. 
All right, cool. Well, that's the end of this one here. Uh, appreciate you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. And I'll see you next time, fuckers. Bye.